If I don't aim for Allah in this environment, if I don't aim for Allah in this environment, even Islam itself, with all the sloganism that is part of our Islam today, and everything has some kind of a slogan to it, everything has some kind of a, you know, like a meme to it, everything is a bumper sticker, everything is there to just kind of a jingle, you know, Islam solves everything. And, oh, okay, well, good, I'm glad I'm in it because now my problems are solved. No, no, it's not like that. We can't reduce our Islam, we can't reduce our relationship to God to a meaningless jingle. A meaningless jingle. A, a, a non-substantial, meaningless jingle that only serves, really, to help us have a sense of identity, to validate whatever identity that we've created for ourselves, and doesn't do anything for us when the problems come and when the tests come. When the problems come and then the tests come, what is that jingle going to do for me? When the problems comes and the test, you know, for example, and I'll just be straightforward. If we, if we say, well, Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah. Quran and Sunnah is nothing but a jingle. For probably well over 90% of the Muslim community, it's just a jingle. You can't even ask a person what Quran means when you say Quran and Sunnah. You can't even ask a person what does Sunnah mean when you say Quran and Sunnah. It's just a jingle. But what we have made it into is a meaningless jingle because our perspectives are full of meaninglessness. We don't know how to apply the Qur'an. We don't know how to apply the Sunnah. We don't know how to apply the Ijma'a, the consensus of the scholars. We don't know how to apply uh, analogy. We don't know how to apply these different kind of usuli principles. And if you even ask someone about what usul is, they don't even know what that is. We don't know how to apply to it because we don't apply. We don't know how to apply to it because we don't apply. We are marginal beings. Just walking around like everyone else trying to make money. Trying to get an education. Fighting our bosses. Whatever the case may be. We're, not, we're, we're no different than anyone else. It's just a click. A trend for some people even. But that's not what Islam is for. Islam is, Islam is here to teach you how to be submissive to whatever it is that Allah wants to do and to accept whatever it is that Allah wants to do for His sake, for His name, for His, for His, for, for His face, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning that I have to be willing to give everything that I have. I have to be able to give my mind. I have to be willing to give my body, I have to be willing to give my soul so that I can get Allah. Now, on a practical level, uh, institutions like the Institute, what, 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 what is it, what's happening is it's an attempt to try to get people to be able to do just that. You have to worship Allah with your body. How do you do that? You learn, you, you learn jurisprudence. Just learn jurisprudence. It's not a big deal. You know, you just... Make wudu, pray salat, pay zakat, go for hajj, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not that big of a deal. It's not, and it's also not the end all be all of Islam. This, if we understand, then the question, I, the question is, how do I begin to adapt the attitude? How do I begin to um, achieve? How do I begin to become? The kind of individual to be something. You have to be something. A slogan is not being anything, right? You have to become something. The question is, what do I need to become in order to get Allah? That's the first question. This is not rhetoric. I'm asking you. What is the first question? Uh, what is the what is the, what do I need <coughs> to become to be in order to get Allah? What do I need to be? 